Hi, my name is Josh Bantler and this video is about my Wii whiteboard project. The project was originally created by Johnny Chung Lee and I will put a link at the end of the video if you would like to learn more. For the software portion, I used his open source program Wiimote Whiteboard version 0.3 and I made a few small changes to it using Visual Studio to improve on connecting the Wii remote and usability of the program. For the hardware, there are three different types of light pins that I used. Two homemade ones and one purchased online. The first homemade pin has a momentary switch under the LED so that when the LED is pressed up against the hard surface, the light turns on, just as if you are writing with a regular marker. The second pin has a simpler design that has a momentary switch on the outside, which you simply press when you want the light to turn on. And finally, the last pin was bought from Amazon for about $30 and has both a button and a pressure sensitive LED. The rest of your hardware needed is a Wii Remote, a Bluetooth adapter if your computer already doesn't have one, and obviously a computer connected to a projector. The way the Wii whiteboard works is the infrared camera on the Wii Remote sees the position of the infrared light pin and relays the coordinates back to the computer via Bluetooth. Depending on the calibration, the computer turns these coordinates into mouse clicks. The first step is to download the Wii Remote drivers and Bluetooth stacks from the internet so that you can connect to your controller. There are a variety of stacks and drivers, and the right one depends on your computer and operating system. After you connect your controller to your computer with Bluetooth, you are now able to open your program. Your program's GUI includes the amount of battery that your Wii controller has left, tracking utilization, the amount of infrared dots that your computer sees through the camera on your Wii controller, whether or not you want to give your program cursor control, the amount of smoothing, and the calibrate location button. To calibrate your screen, you tap on all four corners with your light pin. What this does is it tells your computer where and relative to the Wii controller your screen is. Now that your screen is calibrated, you can use your light pen just as you would a mouse. For example, you can use it in Paint, and you can also use it in Google Earth. Those are just a couple of the many applications that the Wii whiteboard can do. The main application would be giving underfunded schools the opportunity of an interactive whiteboard when otherwise they wouldn't be able to afford one. This is because actual interactive whiteboards cost in the thousands, whereas this one is under $100. For more information on this and Johnny Lee's other projects, go to johnnylee.net slash projects slash we. And thanks for watching.